Don't mind me. I'm happy just waiting in one place. X-Men Legends for a little bit this morning. Um, if you were watching last time, we left off at a part where we had just discovered that there was a new set of mutants being rushed into production by General William Kincaid, and it is human hybrid sentinels that are made of plastic so that Magneto won't be able to Pretty scary stuff, uh, especially when you know when you're looking at the room here. You can tell so, there's uh, lead over the now? room. So it's a really uh, the very first time I played this game. They, you know, that kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to get that deep. But, um, I guess unfortunately, if uh, people can go to great lengths in their uh, misunderstanding. So um, what was I heard a quote the other day? What is called? Um, People can get you to believe absurdities. It can get you to commit atrocities, and this is a perfect example of that. So, um, let's get started, and I will keep you all posted on what I'm doing. And um, I will have to change my team a couple of times, but I think this is going to be the main set. You bet. Will do. Ooh. You bet. See you next time. I'm gonna need Nightcrawler at some point to remember the win. You don't stand a chance, Muty. So this door doesn't work, so you're gonna have to break through the wall. Okay. Oh, or have magma destroy it. <laughs> Combo! Did you have a good fall? So on this part, I probably could have put Jean Grey out. Uh, she's really useful if you're having, if you're struggling. You, so tough. you can definitely put her out on this part, and she'll be very helpful. Um, again, like I said uh, in the previous stream, you know, I un I unequip all of my outfit, so um, you know I don't have any boosters on to help. Did you have a good fall? So if you uh, wanted to do that, you can. And uh, like I said, you know, the, the hammer of Nimrod, the hammer of Nimrod is very helpful versus uh, Sentinels, which we will be coming up against soon as well. There's also an outfit booster that is effective against humans. It does plus 80 to 100 damage to other humans, so that can be helpful too. Um, there is, but it's rare. I haven't gotten it every time I play the game. I've only gotten it a few times. So you can keep an eye out for that. Uh, you know, take some time, open up crates, see if you can find it. Um, yeah, so you're having trouble. I will tell you, on this part, you will need someone who can fly. You will need Nightcrawler if you want some extra points. Yes, will do. 
Right. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another one of those sentinels. Okay. Oop. So when it hits you with that move, uh, your controls become reversed. That's why I'm running backwards there. Can't get through the door. I'm on it. Combo. Optic range. Right. Super combo. Will do. Combo. Will do. Super combo. Okay. okay. So that little green. That green thing over your, uh, over your head. Definitely designed by General William Kincaid. Um, very first time I played, I went up against one of those. I ended up dying because I kept trying to attack, but I kept doing it the wrong way, running the wrong way. And while he's doing that, he's still shooting you too, so, uh, be careful when you go right. up against that guy. It can be pretty. Yes. Difficult. Okay. Right. Okay. And I can find some more uh, rare items to show you guys. This must be the next generation of Sentinels, human hybrids. Hmm, isn't that crazy? So if you take a minute, you can zoom in a little bit. Isn't that crazy? How desperate do you have to be to get rid of symbols that you would take other human lives? Um, that's... That's pretty crazy. So this part is... Eh, it's really deep. So, you know, well, we don't... We don't see mutants in real life or anything. That kind of thinking is something that we see every day, something I see every day. Where, um, people is better than other people and will go to whatever lengths they can to protect themselves. That's kind of, that mentality is something I yes. see every day. It can be pretty scary. Someone with the wrong mind can Excuse genocide, even. Okay. So, this is what I think of. The connection between the hatred of mutants easily be referred to as hatred of people from a different race. If you don't stay on top of these guys, they can be really difficult to take down. Um, but yeah, I really like this part of the game. Um, right, I'm on it. Gotcha. This part of the game shows the ignorance that humans can have sometimes, and the lengths they go to to protect ignorant ideals. So. Um, yeah, this part of the game is really deep. No good. We're in the next part. I want to make sure okay. I didn't forget anything, so I'm going to go back and rope fly around. I never saw that before, but it looks like it. 
right. Personally, in, in my life, I've always been viewed as a fairly reasonable person. So I'm one of those people that I can't take can take but so much unreasonableness. And, you know, so there are some times where it's like, you know, how you would rather talk things out. But if someone is truly, truly, truly ignorant, I would rather not talk to them at all. <laughs> Just, just saying, that's, that's kind of my take on life. You can't, there was always, there's always going to be that one person who just will always think that their way is better, that they're always right. And will stop at nothing to prove it. So, I think this part of the game is a, this part of the game is a reminder that we don't want to be like that. And this is focused on the physical, the physical destruction of other humans. But what about the mental? What about the physical? What about the uh, emotional? If you're truly, if you're truly focused on. Solely what you want and what you think. How many people would you bulldoze through to keep that to keep that ideal? It can be pretty scary, actually. That's the way I see it. Right. All right. Game set and match. I slow down a little. Combo! Sure thing. Yeah. Think about that. This type of sentinel was rushed into production. You can tell it's very sloppy. The amount of lives that were taken in the process. Think about the amount of people who are willing to give their lives for such a cause. That's also pretty scary. I think this is the part. I believe this is the part, so I'm gonna change. I'm gonna sell everything I have. And then, uh, oh, yeah, that's true. So once you get to a new level, you can get the next. Max amount. Once you reach level 30, you can get the max amount of a DNA generator. And then uh, you have super everything. And I think once you hit level 40, then you can get ultra nanofiber armor, ultra ocean initial detector. So those can all be really helpful. Especially toward that part of the end of the game, it can be really difficult. So I'm going to 
let's see if what I was telling you about earlier is here. Spikes of herbs is cool. Birds were bugs, okay. Yeah, it's a pretty rare item. Um, you have to find it on your uh, adventure. I'm going to switch out stone and make floor. Night crawler. Cool, he's got legend frenzy. Okay, I'm going to need to take that point away for momentarily and put it here. That way I can teleport allies with me. And you'll see why I chose to do that. I'm going to need to level up one more time before I do Legend Rip. Which is really not too far away to go. Yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yes. You don't stand a chance, Mutie. I'm large and in charge. You forgot to duck. First rogue at. I guess we lose, huh? Oh shoot, she jumped in the water. Okay, I gotta go revive her. There's uh I need her for the next part. I have to play back the stream to see how she fell in the water. I didn't even I didn't even see her fly in there. Let's keep together, X-Men. So in this case, I will revive her, since I don't have anyone else who could fly yet. I think I put Jean, Flight on Jean Grey. But, um, you have to have at least... Oh, I didn't. Yeah, you need to have five levels of flight in order to use it. And I'll explain that here. It says allows flight pickup. So you have to have that pretty much maxed all the way out to use it. Rogue. And we'll save that point for later. Focus.
case the system crashed and you didn't do the save state. There's a sketchbook over there, so you do have to, hopefully no one else will run into the water. You can... Yes, that's what you don't want to do. <laughs> that's what I wanted to demonstrate. That's what you don't want to do. So you can fall off of that fan really easily. <laughs> I was just hoping that I didn't do that. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Hey, this is Janoki Kedal. He's the one in charge of this facility. According to this document, Kincaid ordered that a construction be astrogated. Could he have been the one who told Shadow King to kidnap Ileana? But why would he do that? Interesting. So, it was General Kincaid. How on earth did a general contact contact a mutant on the astral plane? We both know how this fight's gonna turn out. That sure is interesting. They certainly were Russian. How many bodies have we seen about now? So General William Kincaid advised Shadow King to kidnap Ileana, so Laura Professor Hicks. See the links that okay. Okay. Even they get in the door like that. Combo. So General William Kincaid. You bet. I will comply. Will do. Must have. Combo. Game set and match. I forgot there's another one. I could it, but it's cool. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So, almost kind of makes you see how extreme both Magneto and both General William Kincaid are. General William Kincaid is willing to sacrifice human lives to get his end goal, and Magneto's willing to affect other mutant lives to get what he wants. And then the X Men are just stuck in the middle. There's no limit to how far they're willing to take this. Their contempt for mutants is hurting themselves as much as it hurts us.
Combo! Combo! Right! Gotcha! Right! I'm on it. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, you see how much extra experience we got? That's why you want Cyclops out. Cyclops or Storm. Damage that did from that combo. The attacks normally don't do that much, but just because of leadership, and the timing of the combo with the other attacks, it did almost 10 times as much damage as it normally would have done. Combo! Good enough, huh? Yes. You bet. Huh. Got another one out there. I'm gonna wait a minute. Cyclops, wait. It. Just wait. Affirmative. You bet. Okay. I have probably wait. Gotcha. You bet. Sure thing. I'm on it. Optic ray! Super combo! Okay. Super combo! Combo! Will do. Yes. Combo! I'll take great! Okay. Two things. Yeah. Super combo! Gotcha. Now I'm really ready to fire it up. So this is really easy to miss on this part right here. 
Okay. There's a danger room disc sitting right here. The camera angle doesn't help. You get Nightmare Wolverine. And you have to pass qualifying exam 500 before you can do that one. Okay, I can level up uh, Magma's Legend Rip now. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, he goes from, mm, excuse me, 135 to 215 to 250. 85 energy launches enemies upwards and build molten bridges. Pretty cool. From nine and a half foot radius to 10 foot radius. Me. I will comply. I'm on it. Oh, we're just going up to the next part. Okay. I gotta save my energy. <laughs> I give it a minute here. You don't stand a chance, Mutie. Okay. Yeah. I will do that. Combo! You need a minute will to catch do. your breath? Creators of this game, they put a lot of thought into it, and I just really appreciate it now. I have a much greater appreciation for it, probably because it's one of my favorite games, I think. The thought behind it, the plot twist, everything. If you haven't played this game, you definitely should. Let's form up. Right. I will comply. Will do. Will do. It's Gateway, but how can he be in a cage? Can't he just teleport out? Trionic energy. What'd you say? His powers are nullified by the trionic energy that's being pumped through his cage. All our cages are specially designed to keep us from escaping. Why are they keeping mutants prisoners? For testing. Whenever they finish a new Sentinel model, they pluck a couple of us out to make sure the machines can kill us. So far, the Sentinels have won every battle. Wow. We're getting you all out of here. Gateway, could you create a gate that leads to New York City? Thanks. Now all the prisoners we set free can make it home safely. You get 300 experience, 300 pay experience for that, so that's good. There's a lot going on on this part, so it's a little bit laggy here, but I'm sure it'll adjust here momentarily. Right. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Will do. I'm on it. 
This is the part you need a flyer and nightcrawler. You weren't so tough. Combo. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. Now this one can be a little bit hard to reach here. You want to attack this spot right here with a mutant. So I think you can get... I think Rogue's Punch can grab it. Yeah. So you see what happens, and if you fall in the water, you just keep losing HP until you die. So don't want to do that. I'm on it. So with Real magma idea. being here, I'm gonna make two molten bridges. There are mutants stuck in there, and I'm gonna show you all where you can get some extra credit points here to level up faster. So please don't fall in the water, rogue. <laughs> Got it. Again. <laughs> she almost did. I I know for sure. So you need a flyer who has flight pickup and you need Nightcrawler to be able to do his teleport ability where he can teleport allies. So bring him up here. I'm gonna scout around on my own. Okay. Drop him. And, okay, so the Morlock mutants will appear wherever you are after you save them. So if they fall in the water, don't worry, they'll respawn. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay, so now Nightcrawler needs to teleport her over here. And then they take this guy down together. Rogue can bust up in this cage, and it's a skill point. So since I want to level up her uh, Southern Legend, and I know she already has one point waiting, I'll go ahead and give it to Rogue. If you wanted someone else to pick it up, you could teleport her back, fly, go grab the other person, drop him, have Nightcrawler teleport whoever over and have them pick it up. So however you want to do that. Again, don't worry about the Morlock mutants that will respawn yeah. up there. Okay. Got it. What are y'all waiting for? Let's go. And sometimes the other X Men like to fall in the water on this part, so I'll just fly over instead of. Stay put while I look around. Walking over. So I don't have to keep reviving. Hey y'all, let's get a move on. Alright, let's go. And now, uh, Rogues. Southern Legend. From 300 and 375 with 555 knockback for 60 energy. Now she does 450 to 550 with 620 knockback, 70 energy. Good to go. Hey. 
Sure thing. Yes. Will do. You don't stand a chance, Muni. Combo! Oh, I bet that hurt. Combo! They're not back on my knees now. First gateway, he'll get you out of here. One more guy. I think that is everyone. If I'm forgetting something, uh, you won't be able to proceed until you finish. Sure thing. So I'm gonna ride my. Uh, Lava tracks back. Shut. Let's stick together. I will comply. You bet. Yes. Gotcha. There's one more guy that should be coming. Yep, there he is. Okay. Oh, good guys. Ah, uh, yes. There's no the stopping me now. Champions of the beaten world. I should have known you'd make an appearance. General Kincaid. Yes. Have you mutants grown so drunk in your hatred for humans that you'd attempt to attack my sentinel factory? How twisted. Maybe. But we don't hate humans. Spare me your lies. I know you're biding your time. Waiting and growing in numbers until the day you can seize power from the lowly, unevolved humans. Well, I'm not about to sit by and let that happen. I will fight you, by whatever means necessary. You're wrong, Kincaid. Humans and mutants can live together. There's no reason to start a war. No, you're wrong. Dead wrong. I actually forgot to put up my comments page here. Guys, I'm sorry if someone is watching and you've been commenting. Um, I haven't seen it. So give me a second here. And thank you for watching if you are. Okay, I see if you can be watching. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. I forgot to put up the comments. So, wow, that's the kind of lack of reason that I'm talking about. When you, when you have a lack of reason, you can believe just about anything about anyone, whether you have proof or not. You will believe it as 100% fact. There's nothing you can do to convince anyone otherwise. So even in real life, in the real world, I meet people like that every day. So there's not a whole lot of proof. The best thing you can do is create distance and try not to interact with them the machine. Okay. But make it quick and get away from it as fast as you can. That's pretty much how it is. Combo! I'm sure we've all met someone who was like that. The way is blocked. Gateway, quick, we need a portal to catch up with General Kincaid.
And it's almost like General Kincaid has like, it's like sociopathic and psych psychopathic in one. Like, sociopathic. And like, on top of that, he's like narcissist. So they're attacking a mutant facility. And he said, have you grown so drunk and your hatred for mutant, for humans, that you're willing to attack a Sentinel factory? So now I've done a lot of research on uh, narcissistic thinking. Because I've encountered uh, quite a few people in my lifetime who are. And it's almost like if, if you really dissect what he said there, he excused himself four times from things from doing things that he knows is wrong. So um Something only a narcissistic abuse survivor would understand. But that's usually what happens. If someone truly believes that they can do whatever they please, um, they will live as though no one can stand in their way. Iceman. So I'm going to switch up the scene a little bit. Storm. I'm going to put Storm back out. Um, Actually, I always put these four out. So I'm going to put out. Um, so Colossus. Back Colossus. Out. And. Mm, put Gambit. Gambit. That'll work. Okay, so we'll start leveling up his, uh, I've got to put his critical strike all the way up. Since I use mainly melee with him anyway. His body. Concussion legend, so now he does 200, 250 physical damage, 620 knockback. And 10 destruction within 30 feet for 85 damage. Cyclops leveled up soon. Put one on um, point blank shot. I've got point for him, so. I was talking, me and my friends, we were talking about that the other day, that you know, when you meet someone who has a lack of reason, you know, in real life, you know, there's not, there's no amount of fact or information or proof you don't to show chance, them beauty. to make them believe that they're in the wrong. They just won't. So the worst thing you can do is waste your time trying to prove it. So, um... Actually, I need to step away for one moment. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I hope you are enjoying the stream. I love this game so much. And I just see so many parallels to even. I know it's just a game, but I see so many parallels to the real life that I could tell that the people who created it, no doubt, had a lot of, um, had a lot of experiences that kind of bled over into the creation of the game. And I think that's just wonderful. So I'll be right back.
a little bit. Yeah, this is pretty much what I do early in the morning. I am a deep thinker. I'm a writer, so I talk about things like that. <laughs> there was a um, there was a post I saw on Instagram yesterday that was saying, uh, when someone wants to have a deep conversation with me at 6 a.m., and their face was like, really? <laughs> like, that would be me. Yeah, so this part of the game just makes me think in general about, about mental health in general because, you know, General William Kincaid, he lost his family to a mutant, a tragic mutant attack, right? So he thinks he's in the right for everything that he's doing. But that's the thing about trauma. Um, if you're not careful, you can excuse yourself and become worse than the person who created the trauma for you. So. Again, just a game, but I think a lot of lessons in real life kind of develop this game. So that's just how I feel anyway. Yes. Okay. Someone else may not feel that way, but. Invisible, I didn't even see him. That was a glitch. Men just die like you're supposed to. Okay, your hatred towards mutants and lives. If those are mutant lives, then it's worth the cost. Okay, listen to reason. The time for reason is over. Now is the time for action. So if you want. You can spam leveling up at this part if you would like. Okay. Um, yes. I'm on it. And just continuing to attack the sentinels. Or, you know, if you're struggling, of course. Ooh, okay. That was a close one. Um, I'm usually really good at dodging that move, but yeah, it's pretty strong. You can destroy the machine so they don't come back. Struggling. Either way, destroy it before it comes back up, they will be able to. Maybe you should pretend to be unconscious. <laughs> Without Gateway, we have no way to catch the general campaign. Let's head back to the mansion and figure out our next. Uh, so they went. 
They went to the Sentinel factory expecting to find just two small things and ended up finding a whole bigger mess. A much larger mess. Human hybrid symbols. We can't wait any longer. We have to return to the astral plane and save Professor Xavier. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time we went astral, didn't Shadow King almost get Professor X to kill us? Yes, but he's no longer brainwashed. If we can find Professor Xavier, we should be able to set him free. Sounds good to me. When do we get started? Right now. Beast, fire up the astral gate. Alright, so we're back on the astral plane again, so definitely putting out in gray. And Emma Frost, um... Emma Frost. Let's see. You know, I always use mental people for this. I, mean, I feel like they do, they have the best things to offer on the Astro Plane. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with mental. Jubilee. I need to change the Psylog. I'm also going to use Jubilee to. Hmm, I'm thinking that. So, Jubilee has plus 20% ally striking and agility. Psylocke has plus 30 focus. Jean Grey has minus 50 damage. So the cost size minus 50 mental damage and minus 30 knockback. I'm going to combine that with Cyclops. 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 Plus 18 striking and agility. On top of oh, on top of everything else, all of their defensive move affects everybody. This is it. We have to say, Professor Xavier, keep your eyes open for traps. Shadow King will be ready for us. Oh, 
Who's next? Okay. Do. I'm gonna put back here. Easy to miss. That nightmare cyclops. And uh, here's why you need Jean Grey. Okay. It opens up that door down there that's closed. And you can jump down here. Thanks for playing. Come on! Well, there is to so that first part, and then they give you another safe right here. So, I think I will do a safe stay. Forbidden Halls. Nice to have Jean Grey out so the lever doesn't disappear on you. 
Now you don't have to, but it will probably teleport somewhere up here. Like it did initially. Uh, if you were watching the stream the very first time I streamed, when we first go to the astral plane with Professor X and Emma Frost, uh, the lever disappears five times. Unless you use two great set of lenses. Same thing here. I remember there being something. Maybe a little bit later on. Okay, got it. Those guys are mental okay. resistant. There is a part coming up where you can fall off the cliff because of the camera angle really sets you up to make it happen. So you do want to be careful when you run through a door like this one, a doorway, because you can't quite see where you're going. So you want to make sure you watch that. right there that's one of those spots oh and i forgot to show you so just to show you silox um, so you know uh cyclops gives you 18 strike and 18 agility and then silox This isn't showing there for some reason. Oh, so it's interesting. I didn't know that it might be plus 30 focus for teammates and not her. Oh, that's not too bad. So now, yeah, Jean Grace 65, 61, 65. So, um, probably better to use her psychic wall first and then use everyone else's because they have that much more focus. So that's pretty cool. Do you think you need Jean Grey again to Got be it. able to reach those far away levers? So listen to her. I'm gonna scout around. She's the only one that can reach that. Let's 
Let's go. The Lost Passages. Got it. Sure thing. Yes. Yes. Come on. There's yeah, there's a book, a sketchbook, and a danger in disc, I think. That should be coming up on this page. If I'm not mistaken. This part's really confusing. It's easy to get lost. Sure thing. You kind of go All in right. circles. So. so that door's closed. If it's not this way, you need to go around this way. Blocked off. I do think there might be a this. Not over here. There should be one coming up here. Combo. Hmm. I thought you were tougher than that. Anybody does it. This is the part right here. The camera angle doesn't help you, but that you can fall off there. You will fall forever into the darkness. I remember the time that I fell off there. I fell for like 10 seconds before they finally said that. Uh, she was gone. We'll do. Got it. We'll do. Let's regroup. And here we are. That's Professor Xavier, but he's still hopeless. That must hold Professor Xavier's mental power. We'll have to break it free before the professor can be unchained. So, here is another. Excuse me, here is another XP farming spot I found. So pay attention to this. 
I'm going to change my team. Cyclops, Storm, Storm, King Gray, Iceman. Iceman. Oh, I'll show you his. I like his nice. Yeah, I'll get some more points here soon. I'll show you his uh, final, <laughs> final smash, his uh, extreme move soon here. Can you believe that's still only at level one? It's crazy strong just from that. I'll put one on. So the moment that you from the moment that you hit Professor Xavier's mind cage, enemies will start coming out like crazy on this part. So, um, I'm going to go save state here. So all you want to do is just hit it once and generate the enemies coming. I use Jean Grey because she's not as strong. Oh, okay. That's a glitch. She doesn't, he should be sitting still. Um, so <laughs> I've never seen that before. So. Uh, so just hit it one time and then come away from it because the teammates will keep attacking it you to move everybody away yes. and that's what you want to do you want to spam her move and yes. Storm's move her chain lightning Got the experience that you're getting. And you drop, you get so much armor, you get extremes, you get all the health caplets and things, so you can keep spamming it. You do glitch the game out when you do this, so when they stop, ooh, oh, they froze. Uh, okay, <laughs> so, so when um, when they start becoming in, invulnerable to what you do, is when you need to go to the other side of the room and do it over there. So this is a spot you can spam yes. some XP if you need to. Combo. Combo. Yes. Combo. Okay. Hmm. I thought you were tougher than that. This is kind of what I was saying a couple of streams ago. I think it would have been cool if they had made it to where you could turn into Dark Phoenix if you overuse energy power. I thought that would be a good idea. Maybe something they'll revisit one day. Okay, so they're starting to become invisible to the moves a little bit. So when that happens, kind of 
run around to the other side over here and start doing it here. Yes. I need help right now. I'm on it. Come on. I feel reborn. So this is another good spot to get more tech bits because you can pretty much sell everything you pick up if you want. If it's something that you know you're not going to use. Phoenix Force. Will do. Okay. Might as well go ahead and use those. Okay. Looks like they're becoming invincible to that too, so. I need assistance. Right. Combo, combo. Yes! Combo. Combo. Okay. Combo. So I'll stop here at level 35, but yes, you could stay here and you could do that all all day if you want it. And you, I would I would imagine you could probably get to around level 40 if you do that. Um, so that's just another experience spam spot if you're having trouble leveling up. Having trouble um, being able to uh, move forward. Combo. So another thing I like to do... Um, uh, oh, I didn't mean to hit change key. I'll uh, sell, oh, like if you want some quick tech bits, because when you know you start, once you get past level 30, you can use pretty much all of them. So when you find rare, the rare outfit equipments, um, you know, that's just a good time to start trying to use them. I think after a while, most of them require level 30 to use. So um, what I'll do also on this part is I will sell the healer. Oh, I need that too. I'll sell my items and then I'll also sell all of my health packs and my energy packs for extra for extra gills. And I have eighty-two thousand. So if I wanted to, I could do the grab bag just to show you what it looks like. So you get thirty-two thousand per cost. I got a super body enhancer from that. So. What a waste of money, right? Because it normally costs just four thousand. So, grab bag. It, it it's hit or miss. <laughs> you, you don't know what you're going to get. One time I got I spent was it thirty two thousand for a basic muscle accelerator. I was like, oh wow, that was a real loss because it's only five hundred. So, yeah. So it's hit or miss with it if you use it. No wonder the ladies love. Then now that I sold them, I just go run run through. Pick all of them up. And, uh. Assistance would be greatly appreciated. And now we are at level 35, so I think you can carry 25 now. Let's see. Or is it 30 now? Still 25, okay. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and break Professor Xavier free here. I'm gonna save it here in case I decide to come back and do a little extra spamming. Yes. But, um. Keep trying. Come on. Come on. So, gotta break it open. See, mental people don't really do too much attack to it. So you're gonna have to use one of your stronger X Men. So you get what is that? Five hundred thousand experience on the part. Escaped. No matter. Now you will 
die, Xavier. I'm no longer helpless, Shadow King. And I am a force to be reckoned with here on the Astral Plane. Your power is childlike compared to that of Shadow King. I will have my revenge. All right. So, Professor Xavier went OP when you used him at the start of the game, and he's at level 40. He's OP then. He is OP now. So the first thing you want to do is level up his uh, 40 points of level 40. Uh, they made it to where you can only do one point of those, so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to do it without any outfit on me. So I'm going to give him... 35 strike, 35 agility, 35 body, and the rest don't put this. I do 40 focus, 40 body, 36 agility. Let's do that. Now you have to do a one on one fight with Shadow King. Just to show you real quick some of his moves. Um, I didn't really explain any of them, sorry. So he has uh, Amber Legend. As you saw, uh, his, his attack style is very much like Rogue and Beast and Cyclops. A little slow, but really strong. Last Legend, 200, 250, 10 destruction. Psychic defense, minus 50. Physical damage, minus 100% knockback, minus 100% pain. So that's pretty cool and his psychic energies and lightning ravaged the area for psychic maelstrom. So yeah, he's pretty sweet. How much damage he does. And with that shield on, um, I don't get knocked back. So normally you would get flipped upside down. That's his extreme move. You fought bravely. So I already took him out in his first. That's how strong he is. So he gets so overwhelmed, he needs to create three of himself in order to keep up. That move is really strong. When they get close, they try to spam attacks. Uh, it doesn't really last too long. Oof. I don't have any good energy. Professor Xavier just owned him. I don't think I've ever owned him that fast before. It is over. Shadow King won't bother us again, at least not for a very long time. And I think I've had just about enough of the Astral Plane. Let's leave, shall we? All right. We got Professor Xavier back. I wonder what that rare item is. I didn't get a chance to look at it. We're back at the X Mansion. In a minute since we've been back here. So I need to step away again. I will be right back. Thank you all so much for watching. And in a few seconds.
Alright, I am back everyone. Watch um, just wanted to put on a quick pot of tea here. Ninja tea. Uh, I am showing a bit of dropped frames here, so I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hoping that it's finally cut up to you guys. Right, so Professor Xavier's back, so that's good. Allison, I'm glad you're here. What's going on, Cyclops? Just looking at some tactical charts, and uh, trying to come up with a plan for defeating Magneto. The X-Men have battled Magneto before, haven't they? Yeah, we fought Magneto many times, and I'm sure there are those who think we should kill him the next chance we get. Because he's never going to change. But that isn't our job, Allison. The X-Men aren't a death squad. Right. Is there any way I can help? Well, if you're willing, you'd be a major part of my current plan. What can I do against someone like Magneto? We need your ability to control solidified magma. You mean rocks? What rocks do you need me to control? The ones we're gonna fly the X-Jet through on our way to Asteroid M. I thought that's why we got that gear from the Sentinel factory. You'd be our insurance policy in case something goes wrong and asteroids are in places they shouldn't be. Really? The team needs me? Magma, you're the only one who can do it. If it'll help the X-Men, I'd be proud to push them asteroids around. Thanks, Cyclops. Thank you, Allison. Very cool the dialogue. So, again, another link to real life, I would say. You know, there are people who just will never, ever change the way they are. The things that they do, the things they say, the way they think. It's not your job to do anything. You know, the, the best thing you can do is just distance yourself from those kinds of people. Right? So, as soon as Cyclops said that they're not a death squad, I immediately thought of the Suicide Squad, also from the comic books. So it would be cool if they would do something and bring all of them together, but I don't know what the likelihood of that happening would be. Hello, Shell. What's up, Gambit? Oh, just waiting round, taking it easy, waiting for word from Big Man Cyclops to tell us it's time to go save the world. If you don't mind my asking, is everything all right between you and Rogue? Ooh, that girl and me is like. That girl and me is like honey and a bee. We be apart for a little while, what do you say? But not for too long, Nespa. <laughs> See you later, Gambit. Au revoir, Shell. Au revoir. The danger room disc is there. People who are not going to change, the best thing you can do is recognize it. Recognize it and act accordingly, so. Hello, Allison. It's good to see you. There's no point in putting hope in someone. Is Professor X doing any better? He's fine now. All he needs is some rest. That's good news. I feel a lot better now that he's back. <laughs> we all do. How was Shadow King able to brainwash Professor X? 
Professor Xavier expended a lot of mental energy creating a portal for Emma and me to reach Ileana. That moment of weakness was all Shadow King needed to take over the Professor's mind. So what happened when the X-Men beat those Astral X-Men in the Coliseum? That was the same as destroying Shadow King's control. Professor Xavier saw things for what they truly were. Did Professor X destroy Shadow King? No. Professor Xavier would never kill unless he absolutely had to. So Shadow King could come back to bother us again? Yes. But I get the feeling that won't happen for a very, very long time. <laughs> See you. I'll be back later, Jean. See you then, Allison. This is the last real chance that you will be at the X-Mansion, so this is the time when you should review every uh, member of the Brotherhood that you've encountered so far. I'm gonna do that. Oh, he's probably at the X-Jet, I think. This might be the last time you can enter this room. Hello, Allison. How are you faring today? So, do you think this equipment will work on the X-Jet? I've had some... Uh, difficulty calibrating interfaces, but I believe everything should function satisfactorily. If you're so smart, why didn't you build these devices yourself? <laughs> Young lady, am I to understand you're questioning my intelligence? Well, you know, a lot of people are starting to talk. <laughs> About me? That's preposterous. Of course I could have created these devices. There simply wasn't enough time. Relax, beast. I'm just having some fun with you. Oh. Well, of course I knew that. I was merely playing along.
Maybe like a soothing cup of tea. Bye, Beast. Goodbye, Allison. Greetings, Allison. Whoops, that's trying to talk to Wolverine. Bye. Goodbye, <laughs> Allison. Hey there, Pebbles. What's the good word? Pebbles. I was just wondering what you're up to. Giving Hank a hand installing the equipment we boosted from the Sentinel factory. Boosted? That's a good verb. Is that new equipment going to work on the X-Jet? Hank's a pretty smart animal. I think he... I think he's got it all figured out. Besides, if he's wrong, we'll all be dead before we know it. Gee, thanks, Wolverine. What a wonderful attitude. Talk to you later, Wolverine. Take her easy, kiddo. Well, he's not wrong. So there might be a danger room disc in here. I can't remember. Oh yeah, there it is. Nightmare Phoenix. So around this part of the game is when you start getting some very useful outfit items. Again, I'm not gonna be using any of them but I will show you, um, I'll show you what they can do. So, I think for what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to do the save state, and then I'm going to go through every single danger room challenge that you can do this far. Um, and I have to remind myself to make sure I go upstairs to see if there's any other X-Men to talk to, which I don't think there is at this time. Nope. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and do every, every challenge that hasn't been done yet. So 100's done. Defend 202. Everybody's at level 35. shot. Last one for leadership. So now he does plus 5 agility, plus 30% movement speed, and plus 5 striking. So that's pretty useful. The training course is activated. Defend Begin. civilian and protect two vehicles. Survive for two minutes. Generating a point. Yes. Okay. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. So these guys. This is a challenge that you're supposed to do much earlier on in the game. But, you know, I can pretty much survive without any extra challenges. I choose to use graduating exam 400 if I don't have to. Better luck next time. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Combo. Generating Combo. a point. Combo. Generating a point. Medic. 
generating a current. Generating a current. Generating a point. Generating a point. Thirty seconds remain. <laughs> Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Ten seconds remain. Generating a point. Sweet five. Four. Generating a point. Two. One. Combo. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. Right. So we've already done the rest of those in level 200. Um, so these down here, the last three, are... Uh, I missed two of them because I didn't have flight leveled up like I should have. Um, these are specific character, character-specific outfits that provide a lot of uh, extra damage potential. You have to be at level 20 to even equip it. So I'll do one for Beast here so you all can get a, a glimpse of what it does. You have to beat the challenge first. The training course is activated. Begin. Beast Roll as an X-Man is in the front lines, battling through wave after wave of enemies. In this challenge, defeat as many enemies as you can as quickly as possible. Beat 20 enemies complete within 2 minutes, and during character challenges, you have unlimited energy, so you can use your movement powers. So that's pretty cool. Generating a point. So this is one where you would use to pinball. You can use it forever. If you find the right spot, you can... Uh, see if I can find it here. If they come close to you, you can do it that way. But he's getting shot, as you can tell, so probably not the best idea, but... Now you have physical resistant people coming out, so it's a little bit harder to beat them. This move uses a lot of energy. Of course, you couldn't normally do this, but <laughs> during this challenge, you can. Sorry about that. Generating a point. See how long it takes because they're all physical resistant. So, you can also use his extreme orbital. Got five Generating almost instantly. Congratulations, remaining. you have successfully completed the course. So then you obtain the bands of the beast, and I'll show you what that does here. So those are all uh, X Men specific challenges. So you have one for Wolverine, one for Storm, one for Iceman. Combined powers 301. So I'll put out Beast real quick so I can show beast. you that. So over here on the outfit, you get plus 20% damage to all of Beast's mutant attacks and plus 5% strike. So if you're having trouble uh, leveling up, that can be really helpful. For, um, and then you have one of those for every X-Man. So they're not bad. They're not bad to use. Magma. Magma. 
The training course has loaded. You may execute commence. five power combinations complete within two minutes. Now this is harder to do when you're a uh, higher level because everything pretty much one shots everybody. But I like to use Jean Grey to do okay. batter up at this point if they can survive it. Generating a moment. Oh, I think it's her. She's too strong for it. Okay, so you also can manually throw them into each other. Better. Man to do it that way. Generating a point. Look out! Everyone's so OP, you may have to do it that way. <laughs> Generating a point. Combo. Generating Better a point. Generating a point. Generating Combo. a point. Generating a point. This might be the best way to do it. Point. Generating a point. Oh, okay, all three of them fell off, so that's not good. Um, I cannot finish this challenge because of that, so... I always get so nervous when I get near the water. <laughs> So we'll try that again. So it can be a little bit more difficult to do it once you level it up really highly. Technically, you should be using the danger room as you go. I just learned to function without it, so. There are no wrong answers. The course is now active. Good luck. <laughs> Ooh, that's just a rare, a rare one. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Uh, someone just fell over again. I don't know who. Oh, it was magma. So yeah, the the AIs fall in the water a lot on this board too. I don't know what it is. Generating a point. But um. That's you need one more. Generating a point. Look out! Yes, so when in doubt, use batter up. Generating a point. Well done. Your course is now complete. Yeah, if they're too if you come back and they're too powerful to do it, you know, throw them into each other. That's probably the best way to do it. This time you have to do seven and you have to do it within one minute instead of two. You may now begin your course. Oh, two minutes for seven. Okay. Generating a point. We got it. Generating a point. Heads up, people. We got it. Six. I'm really, really sorry about that. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. I'm gonna see if I can do it at the same time. Oh, great. So he's mental resistant. So he, they all can survive her telekinesis now. Generating. So if you want to do that. You can throw them into each other that way. Generating a point. So we got Generating one more. Oops, I was trying to throw them into somebody. Generating Oops. a point. So sorry about that. We got to come come back. Generating a point. Um, soon he'll come back. Yeah. 
Oh, they already got him. Generating a point. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thirty seconds. For Heads up, people! There we go. Your course is now complete. Yeah, those combined powers challenges become way harder once you already gotten really strong. So don't wait too long to do them. The course is now active. Good this luck. one is really hard, I will say. I think this is... I know it's only junior level, but it, this one's pretty brutal. Sometimes you'll be overwhelmed with fending off enemies, and you need to find new tactics to survive for two minutes. Generating a point. No deal. Generating a point. Even with how OP... Jean Grey is. This part can be really crazy. So the first thing I like to do, I like to destroy all the walls. So we can have a good idea of who's there in the building. Oh, there's another bear type here. Okay. So I know where all the X-Men are at all, at all times. Then. You also can use your extremes in here. If you need to. Generating opponent. I thought you were tougher than Generating opponent. Up, Watch the energy resistant guys because they have that HP drain attack move they can use. Generating it still does a, a whole lot of damage even at the high level that we Generating are now. Opponent. So you want to watch it. When you hear them Generating charging it up, yes. you're ready to dodge it. Will do. Got it. Generating a point. Incoming! Generating a point. Better luck next time. Combo! Generating a point. We got income! Got it. Generating a point. You're going down! Heads up, people! We got it! Generating a point. Combo! 30 seconds remaining. We got it! Generating All a right. point. We got it! Generating a point. Combo! Generating a point. Yes. Okay. Generating a point. Ten seconds remaining. Generating a point. So if you let your guard down, this one can be really difficult. Three, two, one. Generating a point. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the course. It's very easy to get KO'd on this one, even at the level that I'm at now. So you do have to be careful. So this is, that was level 17. And I'm at level 35 now. I'm almost two, twice as much, or I am twice as much and more. But if those uh, HP drain guys get a hold of you, and there's like five or six of them now, they can KO you if they all hit you at the same time. So that's why I like to destroy those walls. Uh, it's better that way you can know where all of them are so you know how to dodge them the training course is activated begin yes combo yeah. i'm on it generating a point Generating a point. Generating a point. I'm on it. Generating a point. Look out! Generating a point. I don't have enough power. Generating a point. 
regenerating opponent. Generating opponent. Will do. Got it. Phoenix Force! Generating opponent. Ah! Incoming! Generating opponent. Housing unit! We got Generating it. opponent. Look out! Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Heads up! Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Look out! We got it coming! Generating okay. opponent. Generating opponent. Yes. Combo! Housing unit! Okay. Generating opponent. We got incoming! Generating opponent. Take your hand, beauty! Generating opponent. Hmm. I Phoenix thought you were tougher Force. than that. Generating opponent. Generating combo! Opponent. Yes. Generating opponent. Watch out! Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Look out! Generating opponent. They have so many of those guys out. Generating opponent. Yes. Generating opponent. 30 seconds remaining. Look out! Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Generating opponent. Combo! We got income! Generating opponent. Five. Phoenix Force! Look out! Three, two, one. Generating opponent. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. The sound of that, that gun charging always makes me nervous because it's like, man, I think it's... Super powerful. He had it um, barely touched me for one second, and it, and it did a quarter damage of the pow all of the power that I have now. So that's what you want to be careful of. The training course is activated. Begin. The enemies of freedom are many. In this scenario, you must assault the power plant and defeat as many of the guards as you can. So this one's fairly easy. With Jean Grey especially now. Combo. Generating a hook. Super. Combo. Generating a hook. Generating a hook. Look here now. Or psychic legend. That's this one's really generating easy. Generating opponent. Well done. Generating opponent. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the course. Jean Grey is so OP. I wish they had like a Dark Phoenix monitor or something for her, because you could just spam that move the whole time if you want. The course is now active. Good now luck. we got a complete 30. Generating I'm opponent. on it. Got it. Combo! Generating a point. Generating a point. 
there are a few mental resistant people that come out now. Excellent. It doesn't really matter. You have completed all course objectives. I'll go ahead and show you to everyone every X Men's uh, personal um, personal challenge. Um, I won't use them, but I'll show them to you. So Wolverine's reward is Claws of Rage. The course is now active. Wolverine's life and memories may always be shrouded in mystery, but he knows where it began and whom it is to blame. He wants revenge. Defeat 20 enemies, defeat the director, in two minutes. And like each challenge, you have unlimited uh, MP. So, let me use that. Opponent. Generating a point. Well done. Your course is now complete. So that's cool. It's almost like a freebie for the for those. Uh, it, it lets you get some really cool outfit armor to help you make the X Men better, allowing you to use full full EP constantly. That makes it. You're struggling. I definitely would recommend the training this. course is activated. Um, but you only can use this after level 20 or at level 20. Ten enemies defeat Marrow complete within two minutes. Generating a point. Nicely done. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Down. Generating a point. Arrow can handle her tornado legend man. Generating a strong. point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. Storm is OP too, man. That chain lightning, once you get that leveled up, she can just handle groups of people all at one time. Crazy. Crazy storm. High spins challenge is a little bit. This is one of the harder ones, I would say. The course is now active. Iceman has always been protective of the students at the school, and this is his challenge. Oh, sorry, in, in this challenge, his skills are put to the test. 20 enemies defend civilians survive for two minutes. Generating a point. So if you want, you can increase them with his point blank shot. Well done. Generating a point. You want to do that for the first little bit. Because once you defeat them a few times, they start coming out really quickly. So if you want to hold it out that way, you can do that. Since he has point blank shot, he can freeze all three of them at one time. Yeah, he can. Excellent. Am I good or what? Generating a point. Generating a point. 30 seconds remaining. Nice big Generating a point. They attack the civilians pretty aggressively. Generating a point. 
generating a bucket. Ten seconds remaining. No wonder the ladies love me. Generating a poet. Five, four, three, two, one. Generating a poet. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. Not sure if you saw there, but uh, one of the civilians had almost no HP left. They really come in really hard and move the woods to civilians. So it could be that could be a pretty difficult challenge. I've done it without freezing them like that every couple of seconds, but um, yeah, his his challenge is probably one of the more difficult ones. Excuse me. So protect four oh one. The training course has loaded. You may commence. Protect all statues, survive for two minutes, and the statues are all over. Yes. They're not in one place. Got it. Okay. There's one right there. Generating a pump. There's two over here, one there, two here. So, um, I just like to go in circles, use the camera angle to see which one needs help, and go from there. Who's next? Really need to jump back and forth. Yes. Generating a point. It's probably yeah. easier to use someone like Wolverine or Gambit so you can run really quickly when you need to. Generating a point. Just want to keep moving, going around in a circle. Generating a point. Generating a point. Sweet dream suck. Generating a point. Generating a point. I need more power to do that. Okay. Generating a point. 30 seconds remain. You don't need someone who can pass Generating muscle acceleration, point. but it can be helpful. Generating a point. Generating a point. Oh, so sorry about that. Generating a point. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three. Generating a point. One. All objectives have been successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. Uh, protect two is sort of the same. Oh, I need to sell some stuff. Sell everything in my inventory here. Now, I believe you can't sell those. Well, well, you can, but I don't think you can get them back. So you don't want to do that. Um, so those are the ones that you, um, those are the equipped outfit of the boots you get from personal X-Men challenge. So I will, in this case, go ahead and sell it because I know I'm not going to use it simply for space. Um, but you know, you don't want to sell them. 
Oh, no, see, this one's cool. This one's very unique. I didn't get this the last couple of times I played. So, the Crown of Apocalypse is plus four strike and plus four agility. Minus two body, minus two focus, but 12% chance for melee critters. So, if you equip that and you put on... Um, If you equip that and then you have Jubilee out, you get plus 20% ally striking and agility. You have Cyclops plus 18 striking and agility. And then if they also have their critical attack all the way up, you can do some serious damage. And I will say that will probably be very useful for like the final battle. That's something that you would like to hold on to if you find it. I'm not going to use it though. So that's the danger. Oh, I can see go right here. And I'll do a save state since I've been doing a lot here. Didn't need to make it a big screen. Gambit. The training course is activated. Begin. Generating Got it. Equipment. Got it. Yeah. Generating equipment. Zhao Dai. Generating equipment. Generating equipment. Yeah. Generating equipment. Alright. Generating a point. Always put Ginger Root in my tea and she would after I'm done with it. Generating a point. Oh, really strong. Okay. So. Same as before. Oh, so sorry about that. Show thing. Generating yeah. a point. Same as previous challenge, but we had to do it for an, a minute longer than before. <laughs> and they're being really easy this time around. Normally they really attack the Generating statues very aggressively, so I'm not sure why that is this time, but that's pretty much what I do, I just go in a big circle. Gambit, Gambit plus 20% movement and Wolverine plus 30% movement from his uh, Feral Rage. Just go in a circle like that. You're lucky you're still breathing. Generating a point. You were unsuccessful in completing mm. this course, but you may repeat the course whenever you choose. So that's what I was just saying. They're, normally they attack it more aggressively. They were, they were going kind of easy there. Kind of fooled me for a minute. So when they all start coming down and really start attacking, this challenge can be really difficult. So you want to have someone who can get around in circles really quickly. You may now begin <laughs> your course. Generating a point. Yeah. All right. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Generating a point. Hmm. I thought you were tougher than that. 
Generating a this is one of those challenges where you don't want someone who does a lot of knockback because you want to make sure that you get rid of the enemy instead of just knocking them back. Generating a bullet. Show them. Generating a bullet. Got it. Show them. Okay. Generating a bullet. Still got two minutes left, and we can tell they're starting to blitz all of these statues really aggressive ways. So I'm gonna watch them. Generating a bullet. Generating a bullet. Combo! Generating a bullet. Phoenix Force! Okay. Okay, so we better protect this Generating a bullet. Over the rest here. I'm gonna really try to go for it. Generating a bullet. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. Generating yes. a bullet. Combo! Generating a bullet. The bad thing is now they're attacking the other ones. Show they. Good, got it. I'm just do a quick run around and come right back. The rest of them are good. So this is the main one our focus needs to be at. Let them attack the other ones for a little bit. Generating a point. Generating a point. Thirty seconds remaining. Generating a point. Okay. Right. Hmm. Okay, they're being a lot easier Score. this time around. Normally, they are really attacking the other ones very, very aggressively. So, I'll take it this time around, but. Four, three, two, one. An excellent job. You have completed all course objectives. So, uh, yeah, normally that one's a little bit harder than that. Um, I'm not sure. It might have been a, a glitch going on there just now. We'll do Sabotage 401 here, and I need to step out again for a second. I'll be right back. Thanks, thanks again for watching.
All right, thank you for your patience. I am back. So the new challenge is sabotage for a one. Let's give it a try. You may now begin your course. Just as often as you must protect targets, you may be called upon to destroy them. Defeat 10 enemies, destroy all ladders, compete within one minute. Got Generating a post. Yes. Got it. Uh, Superb. This is when uh, a muscle accelerator would be a good idea. Excellent. So when you're at this level, Superb. then you can focus on taking everybody else out. Superb. Generating a and I have Jean Grey, so that's pretty easily. Well done. Your course is now complete. You normally, if you were at this level, actually at level 20, level 22, you might be fairly close to that, so that move still might be really destructive even then. So, yeah. Defeats and enemies. I think this one is about the same. Uh, let's see. I think it might be six ladders and 20 enemies with one minute. The training course is activated. Oh, Begin. 15 enemies, all ladders, 45 seconds. So again, yeah, this is a... Good one for muscle accelerator. That might be something you might want to get. Generating a point. Thirty seconds remaining. Superb. All right, let's get him. Excellent. Generating a point. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the course. That was Sabotage 401 and 402. Now we have Focus 401 and Focus 401. The training course has loaded. You may commence. Repeat five enemies to 50 Astral Fiend two times. Generating a okay. Come on in. So Astral Fiend is that one. They all kind of look the same, don't they? Generating a <laughs> But yeah, so Astral Fiend one more time. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the course. At that level, that actually, that is a really easy challenge for level 24. Hmm. Oh. And now focus 402. You may now begin your course. Defeat 10 enemies. Defeat Astral Shade two times. Complete within one minute. Generating a blood shell bang. Will do. Excellent. Well done. Generating a point. So we've already defeated those twice, and now we just need to defeat ten enemies. And Jean Grey keeps using her psychic legends, so well done. <laughs> it doesn't take Your very course long. Is now complete. <laughs> Speaking of Jean Grey, so this is her specific uh, X Men based uh, outfit. After you beat this challenge. So let's see what hers is like. The training course has loaded. You may commence. Jean Grey generally provides a supportive role for the team. Her challenge is to learn some offensive skills as well. I I disagree. I think she is kind of like a frontline enemy on this game. Probably at the beginning of the game, not so much, but still, she's very valuable team member. So defeat 20 minutes, 20 enemies complete within two Generating. minutes. Um, and I believe 
interesting thing about her using oh i did switch it to that okay so it is she is using it and she's not even at an aggressive level she would probably be even more op if i switched her to that but i keep her at normal Excellent. 20 enemies. Excellent. Score one for the good. Generating support. Good. Well done. Good. Generating a point. Again. Don't even need to use Nicely any EP. She can just Generating a point. take them out. Their telekinetic Again. combat is so high Generating and so strong. 175 to 215 on top of whatever other attack Generating she decides to do. Well done. Your course is now complete. You know, she doesn't even need to use it. There you go. So the Mantilla Phoenix. So it would be plus 5 focus and plus 20% damage to all of her mutant attack powers. And we have uh, Nightcrawler. The course is now active. Nightcrawler's unique abilities make him a perfect match for a few of the Brotherhoods, Alkalites, and a surprise villain. Defeat Toad, complete within two minutes. Generating a point. My apologies. Generating a point. So sorry. Did that hurt? This guy's physical resistant, and uh, Nightcrawler's not that super strong against physically resistant people, so. Generating a point. You X Men are a joke. All objectives have been <laughs> successfully achieved. Course is now complete. Well done. Well, that was fast. Uh, more like Toad was a joke. <laughs> You get the agility of the acrobat, and it gives him plus um, plus five agility, plus twenty percent um, attack power to all of his attacks. So that's cool. Again, you have to be at level twenty to be able to um, to be able to use these. I'm not, but I wanted to make sure I showed them to you. Remember, during those challenges, too, is activated. you have unlimited okay. EP, so you can stay on that. Magma has proven to be one of the strongest and most defensively powerful of the X-Men. In this challenge, she will face two of her worst fears. 20 enemies complete within 20 minutes. Generating a point. In two minutes. So Magma has a fear of Sidmos. Good job. Again. I win. Generating a point. Well done. Generating a point. Excellent. Generating a point. Volcano! Congratulations, you have successfully completed the course. Yeah, Mag Magma is OP. She's definitely one of my favorites. So she gets uh, what's called Volcano's Might. I think it gives her plus five body and plus 20% attack power to all of her immune attacks. You may now begin your course. Colossus is unmatched in sheer strength. In this challenge, he must destroy alarms, defeat enemies, and come face to face with a villain whose power rivals his own. Defeat 20 enemies, defeat Pyro, destroy all alarm boxes, complete within two minutes. Generating a point. Now, personally, I don't think Pyro can hang with Colossus, but I mean, whatever they say. Nicely done. Well done. Uh oh. Uh. My game went. My game screen went green. So this actually has happened here before. <laughs> this actually has happened here before to me, and it was on this specifically this board. I think it's because. Whenever I do this challenge, I use his um, 
his concussion clap move, and I destroy the alarm box from a different room, so it makes the game crash. So this is why I say stated before I started working in the danger room. <laughs> so let's let's try that again. I'm not sure where I left off at, but okay. So I would have to do all of those again. Um, I'm probably not going to do them right now. But, uh, yes, the game does freeze. It, just make sure that when you play this game through, you always save at your extraction point. Not because you don't think you can get to the next part, but because it might crash. So just something to keep in mind. <laughs> so in that case for right now, I'm going to go ahead and skip to qualifying exam 500. Uh, so that we can get to Challenge Legend. Yeah, be, beware the green screen. That still happens. So uh, for this challenge, um, let's see. Yeah, this is a good team. The usual four. The course is now active. Good luck. Oh, this is a good one. This this is a really difficult one. This course returns you to the fateful day on the USS Arbiter. Near the bottom of the ship's hull is a special launching bay for experimental submarine craft. The hull is breached and soldiers are attempting to sink the ship. You must seal the hull long enough for the crew to be rescued. Good luck. Danger level must not exceed 10. Survive for three minutes. Okay. Generating a break. So, here's what you need to do. I have Cyclops out. So any spot that's leaking with water, you need to have him seal it up. Pay attention to what's being said in the background, too. The danger level is now stable. The danger level is now stable. So the water will start leaking again soon. You just have to pay attention to the color code and be careful. Also, the AI loves to fall off on this one too. So you do want to be very careful of that. The uh, mental resistant guys, as you can see, they take your energy power. So this can be a really difficult challenge. They are mental resistant and energy resistant. So you can do but so much to them as it is. Generating a bullet. The danger level is rising. Heads up! Generating a bullet. They also have the guys who drain your HP too, so you really have to be careful. Is now stable. Will do. Generating a bullet. Got it. So Jean Grey's shield it protects the uh, the civilians too. So if you need to, you can start tossing them in the water for extra EP or extra experience because they're mental resistant they're all resistant to her so they don't she won't do as much damage which actually would be kind of useful for her using her telekinesis at this point so. the game does glitch sometimes and make water reappear after you shoot it so don't pay attention to that listen to the uh, Q that the danger level is now stable. Next, generating a point. Uh, I think the game glitched. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, generating a point. Hopefully, we can make it through this challenge. I think the game just. Let's see. There we go. Generating a point. Okay. Yeah, watch the guy who drains HP, HP and EP. The danger level is now stable. So see, it says that it's stable, but this one shows that it's leaking water, so it's just one of those glitches that happen. Don't worry too much about that. Ten seconds remain. Generating a current. Five, four. 
Start throwing them in the water. The qualifying exam has been completed. Grade passed. Congratulations. You get uh, extra. You get extra experience for tossing them into the water. So you are truly a legend among heroes. Now we can do the challenges in the legend box. And you can get so much experience from just these challenges alone. It's so crazy. Um, but I'll wait to show that later. I'll be sure to show that, show that one at a later time. All right, so uh, I will head upstairs to make sure that I haven't missed any dial X-Men dialogue because this is the last, last time that you will be at the X-Mansion uh, after the final mission. So I just want to run around, make sure there's no danger room discs, there's no sketchbooks or anything like that. Uh, speaking of which, this is also your last chance to view those. So same with uh, load screens. You have pretty much every load screen at this point. So if you want to come back and check those out, you can do that. You have quite a few here, so um, those are cool. Uh, this is your last chance to get your comic book bonuses. So you want to go back down there and do that as well. Your last chance to get any boost before the final battles. Last chance to check out Colossus's sketchbook. And uh, you can check out all of the things that he's drawn. It's pretty cool. So um, make sure you guys come to check out all of those. And we did the trivia first thing in the game, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to go to the ground floor. Meanwhile, the asteroids are still surrounding the Earth, so everyone is being affected, both humans and mutants. So you have all of your cinematics that have been done this far, too, so this will be the chance to see everything one last time. And there's a sketchbook here. So I will go back up to see which one that was that just got unlocked. You cannot go outside anymore. Just to double check, I will go back to the front to make sure. Nope, we're done with going outside. Last chance for comic book upgrades. Jean Grey gets plus four, po four focus now. She's the last comic you get. This is also your last chance to review any X-Men bios that you might want to check out. So that's cool. A little bit of background on all the X-Men you can use on this game. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go back up to check out Colossus's, um, his last sketchbook. I want to see what that was supposed to be. And it looks like It was one of these. Hmm, the labs that we had just came from. So, um, pretty interesting, huh? I have a lot of respect for whoever the artists are. I, I can't really draw that well. Um, so this is very inspiring to see. That's, that's a really good drawing of Mira. That's pretty cool. 
USS Arbiter where they were keeping Magneto. Trigger one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so at that moment, that is all that we can do. So we need to go back to the subspace. Sub, subspacement. I was about to say subspace of mystery from Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but <laughs> not quite. So back to the sub basement for the uh, final mission here. And I will let this uh, play out for you, this mission briefing play out, and I am going to step away and I'm right back. All right, listen up, everyone. Our time is up. We have to make our move now, or things are going to seriously deteriorate here on Earth. Beast, what's the status of the X-Jet upgrades? With Wolverine's assistance, I have fully integrated the equipment we liberated from the Sentinel factory. By all appearances, the X-Jet should be able to reach Asteroid M. But getting inside Magneto's base could prove to be another matter entirely. We'll cross that bridge once we get there. Jean, how's Professor X? He's weak, but he's fine. He just needs a few days of rest. I'm sure the Professor's not going to be happy about being left out on this next mission. But we have no choice. Our number one priority is to reach Asteroid M and capture Magneto. Then we have to figure out a way to remove the Asteroid Shield from around the Earth. Summers, you make it sound almost easy. We all know it's going to be far from easy, Wolverine. But it's got to be done. The world is depending on us. Any questions? Okay, let's move out. We are on the Asteroid M mission now. We made it to Asteroid M. Locked. And we can't blast through because that would cause a halt breach. Somehow we need to get at the lock on the other side of the door. I can take possession of someone inside the to unlock the door. But they need to be weak-willed and open to suggestion. Wait, I sense Toad. Perfect. <laughs> Wait a tick. Isn't that airlock door supposed to be open? I'm sure I remember Mystique Tech. Telling me the door is supposed to be open. Might as well take care of it. Ah. Rose again. So, yeah, around this time of the game, just make sure you say <laughs> that this can happen occasionally. So, just be mindful of that. So I'm a load state and come back. I'm going to load state and, you know, uh, back to where we were. Just make sure you save after you get through the door. So I'm gonna skip I'm gonna skip the briefing and everything so I can get to a point where I can save. So that it doesn't free give me a green. Alright, listen here. up everyone.
Uh, <laughs> okay, it's, it's not filling it. Um, I, I might have to uh, restart. <laughs> I might have to restart that because the uh, the green screen is kind of enjoying this today. So I'm going to exit out and I'm going to open it back up. Thanks for your patience, guys. Again, this is something that does happen. Kind of like when, you know, like, I know this is PS2, but kind of like when the GameCube would stop spinning the disc. It's kind of like that kind of thing. This is what happens sometimes. So I'm going to restart it. Give it a minute to load up here. And, ooh, it's a lag. <laughs> okay, let's see if it'll... Let's see if we can bypass that part this time. All right, listen up, every. Why? I can't make it past the green screen. Um, I, unfortunately, I guess I'm going to have to stop the stream there. I'm going to try to uh, reset everything and reset uh, just to see, just to see if I can make it by. So <laughs> that does tend to happen every now and then. So just make sure you use the uh, the extraction point to save your game. So. <laughs> So on that note, uh, we made it to X, uh, Asteroid M. That's where I'm going to end the stream here today since I keep getting the green screen. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully I can get by this part uh, for next stream. <laughs>